we're gonna check on part two of Rashid Shaheed We were state man. If you're new to the channel, you've been on the channel, you're not subscribed, please click that subscribe button so you won't miss another video from the Boo Tragedies. Once again, he steps on them toes. Once you, when you close that cushion on a the corner, they are done. So right here, man, we're too close. Corners do not like that. They do not like when you get that close. He gets close to them. They never know what to do. Like this watch up top. Watch up top. This top receiver up here. Watch how he never closes this cushion. He runs a little stop route right there. If the corner, if he throws that in the corner, he may pick six that. Like that's. That corner did a good job of not letting him close that cushion on him up top right there. That's how you want to play, you know, corner in this in the uh NFL. It, it really any any level. But him down here, Rasheed, closes that cushion on him, you're done. Corner doesn't know what he's doing out there. Good grab once again. See, this corner does a good job right here. This corner does a good job of not letting him close that cushion. See how this corner is getting out of there? He's already running. That cushion really never got closed. He never really got to step on his toes. This corner is actually in perfect, perfect position. An NFL corner right here would, would turn around and probably honestly intercept that ball. That's a good ball from the quarterback to the sideline. Good grab. Touchdown. But going to have to close that cushion or you're going to have to adjust. When, when guys will start to bail, a little comeback route right here is going to be wide open. Like, that's easy. Come back route to the sticks. That corner's bailing like that. Easy, easy touchdown. But was never able to close that cushion on there, but still scores a touchdown. Can't be mad. Mm. Patience. This is much better. If you watch that other clip, you know, of him in the goal line, he was not this patient, you know, on this, on this route. Patience right there. Look how much easier he wins this fade route. This is really, really good at the line. Slow walks it. Mm. Beats him. That's super, super easy. That's what you want. That's what you want. That's a very, very good route. That's his best route I've seen so far. Perfect. Ooh, a little stutter up top. All right, let's just say this quarterback won't be able to make this throw. All right, let's see where, where this quarterback throw the ball from. The 35-yard line. All right, yeah, 35-yard line. So that quarterback's trying to throw 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, about 50 yards, you know, in the air, plus if you get the, the width as well. He's probably throwing that ball 60 to 70 yards. That quarterback can't make that throw. He's beat the corner. That little stutter at the top of the route, beautiful. Because he can't close this cushion. If you notice, this cornerback from Cal, he's playing it well. He can't close that cushion, but the little stutter makes that corner stop. The cushion's closed right there, and he's over with. Over with. I mean, ball's on the throne, but I'm not expecting Weber State quarterback to be able to throw it 70 yards. So that's just it, what it is. Um, not quite sure what the Kale corner is doing here, but I mean, he's just letting them get a free release outside of him. I don't know what's the the idea of the plan right there, but that's just not good football. So hey. In route against zone, nothing major there. Just a little in route zone coverage. Quarterback throws it in the perfect hole. Good grab, actually. Solid. He's looking good at receiver, man. I was honestly kind of skeptical after seeing his return highlights that, eh, maybe he'll be, you know, a little suspect at receiver because the first thing and the only thing I was seeing was return heights uh, highlights. But he's he's looking really good. Oh, pretty bad route here. They're, they're hand fighting. Maybe got a hands to the face, actually, you know, at the top of this route from both of them. This is just, that's just bad. You don't want that. You don't want that. Also, you want to you want to get down that line in a hurry, man. You want to get down that line in a hurry, but understand why not. I mean, he just got hands to the face. But he has to clear that window. He has to clear that window faster. The quarterback's waiting for him to clear this window of this linebacker. Quarterback's waiting, waiting, stepping up in the pocket. It's That middle of the field is wide open. Gets it to him. It play still works out. But the top of that route, need to work on it. And this, what is this field? Yuck. Where is this? Come on, man. Who put this red field with these red jerseys? This is bad. All right. But anyway, top of the screen here. Perfect. Hey, 
This is what I've been waiting on right here. These are the routes I've been waiting on. You get these corners. Hey, they know you're fast. They know they can't run with you. I mean, this guy's 10 yards off the ball. Make him pay for it. If he's 10 yards off the ball, run a five-yard stop. You take seven, eight yards every time. Beautiful. And then you turn up the field and get five more yards. Like, I mean, this is what you want. He runs like a six or seven-yard stop. They basically start on a 40-yard line. You know, and he gets to the 45 on the other side. That's 15 yards. Those guys are going to play that far off you. Just take what you can get. Easy. When you're that athletic, Tyreek Hill gets so many of these plays where he just, I'm not comparing him to Tyreek Hill, obviously. He doesn't have that speed. But if a guy's going to play 10, 12 yards off of you, hey, run a little six-yard stop, get some yards, free, free yards. Oh, once again, this corner's scared for his life. Look at this corner back pedal. Watch how fast this corner opens his hips up. Right here. This corner's ready to get the hell. He is scared for his life. He is ready to go. He is ready to turn out of here and run for his life for this deep ball. When them hips open up right here, he is scared. He's ready to run deep. He thinks it's a race to the end zone. Boom, out route. That corner is cooked. This is beautiful right here. This is what you want. You want to scare people to death with your speed. Like, he's scared. That corner opens up. He is already scared. He knows he can't run with him. Good out route. Honestly, if the quarterback throws it a little early, I'm not sure if this is a choice route or whatnot, but if the quarterback lets this go a little earlier, the quarterback lets this, if the ball's gone already and the ball's already in the air and now he's catching it, you know, like right here instead of when a, you know, corner is one yard away from him, he might make him miss and he might house that. Uh, so that's just a timing thing. If he's going out there with Jameis Winston, he'll have the ball on the money right there, but Hell of a route. Uh, corner's obviously scared. He can't run with you. I like that. Oh, my God. We're back on this terrible field. All right. All right. Patience on the line. We're not patient here. Hey, I know he sees that one-on-one -on -one contract. I mean, contact. Well, I can't even talk. One-on-one, -on -one, you know, with the cornerback down there. Matchup. Got to be more patient. Not a bad route. Uh, too many steps at the top of the route right here. Notice him at the top of the route, all these extra steps. That's like six steps. You don't want that. All right. Let's count them if I can slow this down enough. On the stick. One, two, three, four. Man, that's like seven or eight in a little slide. You really want to be able to stick that foot in the ground and stop on the down where you are. I know it's tough for the faster guys. That's just going to come with being uh, more more strength, you know, in his legs and stuff like that. More power. And that that's very, very easy fix. Very, very easy fix. Oh, inside release. Haven't seen that all day. Inside release. Corners shedding him to the outside. So corner doesn't want him to, you know, beat him outside. He takes the inside release, which you really don't want to do, you know, on a deep route because you're just putting yourself closer to the safety. But as I talked about in the other route, I mean, this is beautiful. I love the patience off the line. This is this is good. This is good right here. Patient off the line. Oh, stacking them. Remember what I talked about? If you get behind the receiver, you get step for step, you will win. That's why you see the corner fighting with his arm. He's trying to hold him off from stacking him because he know if he gets stacked as a corner, you're going to lose this rep. He gets inside of him, boom. He's fighting to get on top. Fighting to get on top. Perfect. Catches that ball through contact. Oh, no, this this is the best route. All right, this is the best route of the day. This is the best route of the day, the best route I've seen from him. Patience on the line. Stacks that cornerback. That's beautiful right there. That's good. That's, get some extra yards after, man. Fighting, fighting, fighting. I like that. And that's the last play we'll do, man. This kid, hey, I see why the Saints gave him a quarter of a million dollars, man, to uh, you know sign with them. He obviously has suitors out there. He's a, a much better receiver than I would expect it after uh, only seeing return highlights. Man, I do like what I see at receiver. I still think he's probably a year or two away from being like, you know, every down receiver. But to come in and be a deep threat, screen guy, jet sweep guy, he can for sure do that. Um, hopefully he gets healthy uh, and we can see him out there. But uh, this is going to be a battle. I think him and Hardy are going to have a battle. And everyone that keeps telling me his name is Deontay Harris, stop. His name is Deontay Hardy, okay? Just do your research. Stop telling me in the comments, it's Deontay Harris. Do you not know the players on the team? I do. It's Deontay Hardy. It's not that hard to just, you know, type it in Google. I promise y'all. But, yeah, man, it's going to be a battle, man. I think he's going to be a really, really good player. And I'm almost just going to say I think he's going to make the team at this point. Um, I've seen enough at receiver, at returner. 
He's he's too explosive. He's good with the ball in his hands. He has good hands from what I've seen. I wish I could watch game film, then you'll actually know. But highlights are a little difficult. But, man, the kid looks good. He looks really, really good. I wish he, you know, did the combine so I could see his 40 and things like that. But he looks, he plays at 4-3. That's all that matters. He plays at 4-3. Don't know what he would have ran in the combine, man. But I like what I see. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below, man. As always, this is the Boot Tragedies, and I'm out.